Hello and welcome to another episode of Books ABC, part of the Inish Guarda YouTube podcast series powered by openbusinesscouncil.org and citiesabc.com. Once again, we're here to talk about books, to talk about ideas. And as I keep saying, books makes my life better and they'll actually help me understand, challenge, relax, have fun, but as well making my mind more productive and especially making me feel better with myself, with the people around me, and as well, especially a good book is a good friend that you can always have by your side when you need it. So today I'm going to talk about this book. It's a big book, it's a catalog book, as you see here. So, Woman of the Future, Volume 1, Web3 and the Metaverse. So this was published by Mission Impact, and you can find the womanofthefuture.io. And I'm very proud this book actually in particular was offered by a friend of mine, Amrita Sen, that she was actually in this series. Here it is, her, her, her preface. And I'm very excited about this uh, because it's actually highlighting some of the top women in technology and uh, uh, a great way to look at this. Okay, so I'll start with one of the quotes of the book. Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Muriel Strode. So this book uh, that was um, published, uh, it's a book about um, personalities. And actually, actually, it, it actually has a couple of different editorial boards that are actually part of our series of interviews on my YouTube channel, like Tommaso Di Bartolo and Amaretta Sen that I mentioned. So the book, uh, uh, Women of the Future, that is published by Global Village, recognizes and celebrates the positive contributions that women can bring when given the opportunity to look forward to seeing more women and women-led uh, initiatives being awarded the funding they rightfully deserve. So uh, this is a book that uh, comprehends multiple uh, advocates and sponsors like Mission Impact, Metaverse Publishing, Immerse Global Summit, Kionoe, Metapolis, Star Chain Ventures, and uh, VNCCII. And the book highlights uh, women in from accelerators and evangelists, community building, humanities, health and education, sustainability, music, media and culture, art and photography, advocates and supporters, inspiration authors, fintech and investing and trading, legal governance and compliance, gaming and sport, fashion and design, VR, XR, VR and AI, and advisory. So we have a lot of personalities. I'm not going to look at all of them, but please go to womenofthefuture.io. For us, you have personalities like Binish Said. Um, I'll just start. The book is very beautiful as well. Uh, let me see if I can get the right approach. Yeah, it's better like this. And uh, you have really definitely can see all the authors here. And of course, we're going to put pictures of this and the uh, link for the website. But you definitely have fantastic, I would say, some of the most influential women like Katie Ackle, the co-founder and chief of Metaverse Officer Journey. You have Alessa Berg, founder and CEO of Top Tier Impact. Cecilia Mosh Tam, founder and director of Futurity Systems. You have Jennifer Wines, founder and speaker, author, strategy, strategic advisor, Invisible Wealth. Shannon Snow, Chief Operating Officer of World of Woman, World of Woman Art. Amanda Cassat, founder, Serotonin and Mojito. So that's really every pay, every woman that is highlighted. And for instance, Avery Akinen, president of Vayner 3. And uh, these are there's a lot of personalities introducing the women of the future highlighting accelerators and all the different organizations where these personalities are. And the personalities like, for instance, Radhika E. Ben Yengar, founding partner of Star Chain Ventures. You have Sandra Elu, co-founder and CEO of Metapolis. So a lot of cool stuff that I would suggest for you to look. The book is very beautiful. Um, uh, I know that you cannot find a lot of copies around the world, but I'm sure you're going to, at least if you are interested to buy, feel free to buy it because it's really a fantastic, um, amazing book, visual and as all informative and highlighting some of the design, the graphics are amazing. And I like some of the top personalities in the world and all these different areas. So 
I'm a, a huge fan of this book, and uh, I congratulate all the women that were um, profiled here. I didn't mention all the names because that would be probably a podcast in itself, but go to womenofthefuture.io and please engage. There's uh, substantial uh, authors here. Like I mentioned, there's a substantial, at least the photos of all the the authors and the ladies that were portrayed in the book. Thank you so much for listening to me. Again, engage, put notes and quotes and anything you need, just engage with my comments and me and my team will be following up. And thank you for being here. It's an honor as usual. And please keep a book close to you, read. Please, if you are problem with your eyes, get an audio book, but read, learn, keep updating yourself. It's great for mindfulness and it's great for business and for, for as well your success.